guys, welcome back to the video. So today I'm going to be filming and uh, well showing you how I got this look. This is basically just like a not a chit chat, get ready with me, but at the same time it is because I am talking to you a lot. Um I haven't done full face in well I, since yesterday, but in a video I haven't done full face in quite a while and I've started wearing it again, so I decided that I would do a video on it. Um, I'm wearing tan at the minute so I'm wearing like a darker foundation and everything because normally as you know I'm as pale as my sheets over there but yeah um, I just basically take you through this look and talk to you a bit about my life because you know you all are nosy so I'm just gonna show you this look if you're wondering my top it's this little bandeau top it's from Topshop it's from Topshop and I got it quite a while ago but you can still get loads of these so go get it. If I can, I'll link it down in the description below. But without further ado, let's get into this video and I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. So, um, starting off, um, I have got the Nivea Soft um, Moisturiser on my face. This is just like a creamy moisturiser. Basically, I'm like literally running out, but this is it. Um, it's just really good. It gives you like a dewy, like sticky base before before your foundation. Um, I would normally put this on like when I take off my makeup and before I go to bed, but I've started doing it now because I've started doing foundation again. If you know or don't know, I normally never wear foundation unless it's like I'm going out somewhere or something. I normally just wear like concealer and like just the basic stuff. Um, and with that, I would normally use the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm, which everyone and their granny has and everyone seems to be using so yeah but um i used the nivea soft today and then i just put on the obsession g fix set like saying primer spray whatever what you want to call it and um, g makeup fixing mist is what it's called actually you can get this in boots this is not sponsored but um basically just put this on and then cara actually told me to do this because uh, you notice that you'll get like wee dots everywhere in your face, so this is probably common sense, but I like that. So um, you would just like dab it in with your beauty blender so that you wouldn't have them wee dots all over your face. This is before applying makeup or if you do it after like your foundation and concealer and powder and all like that sort of stuff. So yeah, so that is what I have on right now. So I need to get into foundation. Obviously I have tan on right now, so I can't be using my normal basically white um, foundation. I'm using the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour, which is the exact same as that, apart from a different bottle for some reason. Um, this is in the shade 10 Ivory, and obviously it's a darker colour because I have tan on. So I've put that out on my little Revolution blusher palette just to have somewhere to set it, and I'm just going to apply it now with my beauty blender. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is um, during like the past like couple of weeks I've had to get like my bloods taken <sighs> been a journey basically I went on oh, I can't remember the like specific day but I went the other day to get my bloods taken and it was like a trainee nurse this is a great look it was like a trainee nurse who was doing it for me and she went and took bloods out of this side of my arm which it looks fine she put like the needle in and got like two things of blood she needed like eight wee tubes of blood and only got like two out of that arm because apparently my arm just doesn't want to dispose blood because obviously whose body does um but basically uh she went to take it again and again she was like okay it's not coming out like let's try the other arm and i was like right so she Put the wee tie thing around me put the needle in and um, she put it in here as you can tell i have a bruise it got it was way worse and it turned green and people probably thought that i was diseased or something and that i can't wash myself and um, but basically she went into this arm and she went like this here and kept moving the needle about like up and down and up and down and i was like i don't care about needles the needles don't hurt me at all i can sit and Get injections I can get my blood taken and everything's fine but this bitch was actually physically hurting me and I was like um excuse me miss trainee nurse could you like not hurt me so yeah and then she had to put it into like this part of my arm as well and tried to get the blood out and the blood just like wouldn't come out and I'm not blaming it on the trainee nurse 
or am I? Who knows? Um, you'll understand later in the story why I'm kind of blaming the trainee nurse. Maybe it's just because I didn't, like, my bloods just didn't want to come out. But um, she was like, no, sorry, we're going to have to get you back on Monday um, because your blood just doesn't seem to want to come out. And I was like, right, sorry, that's fine. I will come back. That's fine. Um, I left. I came back on the Monday and it was a different nurse. It was the fully trained nurse. I was out of that place in five minutes and she got all the blood that she needed and I was like, right, well, I don't know if that's telling you something, but it's telling me something. Stop letting the trainee nurse take blood from people, please, because I'm not left with a big ass bruise on my arm and it's not a fun time. Light, I don't know, I really don't know. Um, and I'm taking the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C1. This is what I am normally and look at this, this is basically white. So that's telling you something. Nicola needs to be on a bit more holidays is what that's telling you. So I'm going to apply this and then put that on top of it so it'll lighten it up a bit because I don't know like if this will turn out too dark, too light. So yeah, it looks quite light now but we'll see how we go. And then just blending that with my beauty blender. Now I'm taking a mix of the Maybelline Eraser um, an E-Edge Concealer in the shade. So I only use the um, Maybelline Eraser and E-Edge Concealer because it doesn't look too light, it looks fine. It's blended in really nice way, nice way? nicely with my foundation, so that is a very good sign. I'm not going to take the Rimmel London Match Perfectionless Powder because I feel like it. Um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is these bad boys, my braces. So, as you may or may not know, I said, I think in a video in the past, I said that I meant to be getting my braces off in like the 21st of October or something. As you can tell, that didn't happen. <laughs> Funny. I went to the orthodontist on the 21st, 23rd, whenever it was, um, and I was get, I was all excited. I was telling everyone, I was like, oh my god, yes, my braces are finally coming off after two years. It's finally happening and I went in and to get my braces off and they were like oh no we're gonna keep them on a bit longer and um, we don't like you Nicola we hate you and we just want to keep them on longer so isn't that just fantastico do you know fantastico so obviously me being me I was kind of on a mini rant not at them at myself I was like in my head I was like what the actual hell I'm so furious why are my braces still on they told me I was getting them off like um I was I was told that I was getting my braces off at Easter of last year and they were like no we're gonna keep them on again I was like right but what they told me was Nicola we're gonna keep them on for another nine to twelve months and I was like Jesus take the wheel I'm not prepared for this and then um, obviously I went back again and they were like no Nicola we need you to keep them on longer and I was just like please just take them off my teeth and um, it's my bottom teeth that they have a problem with not the top ones the top ones are fine but the bottom ones aren't straight enough for their liking they were like you're happy with them now Nicola but in what 40 years to come you're going to be so upset with them you won't like them i was like in 40 years to come i don't care how old my teeth have fallen out i just want my braces off now um so <laughs> cool but um my new appointment is meant to be like the 23rd of november or something which isn't too bad it's quite soon but hopefully i don't get turned away this time and if i do if my orthodontist is lit on fire shh, it wasn't me so next I'm going in with an MEA bronzer that the lid has popped off. Now, it is not about the brand name, it is not about how popular it is, it is simply if it bronzes you. That is it. I think this was like three, four pound and yes, I know, the lid has came off so you're probably like, oh my god Nicola, you're so cheap. I don't care what you think. So that's cool. Um, I'm just going to go in with this and with a BH Cosmetics brush that I got for Christmas in number two. And I'm just going to bronze up my face. Uh, normally I would, if I have fit tan on, that means I'm going out somewhere with like a full face on. So um, I would normally use, uh, my best friend Cara, I would normally use her um, contour sticks. But you know, my cheap ass doesn't have one. So I think Nicola either needs to invest in one. I don't really 
doing cream contour, I didn't really like it before, but then I saw her, like, Cara was the one who got me, like, into cream contour because she, oh, she just, she just does it so well. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Making myself look like I actually have cheekbones, which hopefully we're doing well, I don't know, but we'll soon find out. So now that my contour slash, well it's bronzer, now that my bronzer's done, I'm going to go with my MAC Fix Plus. I am literally done in this, which is not good. So I'm going to apply this on my face. And if you know me, I'm not the biggest fan of this part, so... Okay, now that my face is soaking wet, Beauty Blender and blend like hell because we do not want to have all of the wee dots because what is that all together kids it's not fun and then that obviously gives you like more of a dewy look which is what i like i don't like to look like matte i just would prefer to look dewy and very glowy and nice that is the aim in life to look dewy and glowy and matte no not matte <laughs> Now, if you know me, you know that I normally use um, the Mary Luminizer Highlighter, beautiful highlighter, very blinding. But today I want to try um, like a gold highlighter. I, um, I have asked for a highlighter for Christmas. Now, this is another thing I want to say. If you want a Christmas wish list video this year, let me know down in the comments below because I'm like deciding whether to do it or not. I don't know whether it like put it up or not or film it sorry I don't know whether to film it or not and give it to you but it seems to be like highly requested a lot of times for like either other youtubers or for me last year a lot of people wanted to see what I wanted for Christmas so yeah I've asked for a new highlighter that's all you know you're not going to know which highlighter unless you ask for that video now I'm going to go in with the Carly Bible palette the BH Cosmetics again Carly Bible this is not sponsored by BH Cosmetic. I wish it was. Um, but I'm going to go in with this like goldy colour here and see how that goes. It looks quite pretty. Can you even, you can see that. See it looks really really pretty, really glowy. So we're going to attempt that. But I have this, this is my like always been my highlighter brush. But I think I'm going to try and find like more of a fluffy brush to apply. Um, my highlighter with so give me two seconds okay so I found a little fluffy brush this is the Urban Decay Naked 3 brush it's just a small fluffy brush something easy to use and easy to apply my highlighter with so I'm just going to go into that and let's see how this goes oh she's blinding oh my god <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna, that is very, very, very like pigmented, very shiny, but that's what we like. That's what we like here on Nicola's Life. So, I'm gonna apply that on the other side. Oh my God. I don't know why I've literally never like used this. I don't know why I've never used this highlighter before because it's literally blinding because it's gorgeous Carly Bible you're doing something right but yeah that is one of the four shades and as you can see I took a chunk out of it by accident I dropped it and I'm so sorry about that but yeah there is my highlighter done oh gorgeous so now we're at the part of the makeup look that could literally make this go to shit and I'm so proud of this right now especially this highlighter I found my new highlighter whew, until Christmas hopefully I'm going to do my eyebrows, um, I'm going in with the Anastasia Dip Brow, I need to get a new one of these, so. As I was saying, um, this, uh, my pro made is literally, like, done, like, there's not much left in it, it'll last me to Christmas, which is good, wink wink, but, um, I just need a new one, because I'm running out, and Nicola can't go out without her eyebrows, because... They need filled in. I do have like quite, I do have like nice eyebrows. I think my eyebrows are quite nice and people do tell me that I have nice eyebrows. So thanks to whoever tells me that. I'm sorry, I'll stop. But um, 
yeah I just I like filling in my eyebrows so I'm going to continue to do that and don't understand why I'm pure explaining to you why I fill in my eyebrows why most people fill in their eyebrows is why I do it um, my eyebrow pomade is in the shade taupe um, I could never um, like say it when I first got it I thought it was like tape or something and I know I'm that stupid yes that I thought it was T-A-P-E it's T-A-U-P-E you get why I was confused no yes well I don't care so I'm gonna fill my eyebrows and I need to concentrate because I don't want them ru literally ruining this makeup look that I quite like so I'm gonna concentrate and fill in my eyebrows now so now I'm going to go in with um, just eyelash curler since I've now um, filled in my eyebrows I don't conceal around my eyebrows because as soon as concealer goes near my eyebrows that means I end up drawing through my eyebrow and we don't want that so I leave my eyebrows just the way I fill them in that's why it's so important that how I fill them in is okay because otherwise we're all screwed so I'm gonna do this so yeah and uh, I'm gonna tell you a quick story there was one time when I was fill like obviously curling my eyelashes and I got them stuck like it was like this and it got stuck in there's obviously like a wee gap you'll probably not be able to see it in there there's a wee line and basically my hair got stuck in it and I couldn't get it out and I had to like pull and it took off a good like let's say about 10 of my eyelashes and like I tears streaming from my eyes it was that sore so I just thought that that would be like a fun experience I could share with you I hope you enjoyed that little story and now that I've done that, I'm going to in with the False Lash Superstar X Fiber by L'Oreal Paris. And this is like a two-sided thing with like two different wands. So I like more volume, stuff like that, which is what I like because I love having like loads of volume in my eyelashes. It just looks so pretty. So this one's like got like two thick ends and like a dip in the middle. So that, that actually has like a number one on it. So you put that on first. So I just coat my eyelashes with that so obviously if you wanted to you could leave it like this and just like put like that on the bottom of your eyelashes as well but not me I like to use both sides Um, I then go with the number two and this is like more of a thick all over and it just has like a little dip in it completely so it's like a wee you get me so um, I'm now just doing that on the top like do you see like that gives you like more volume like that second thing they're just different brushes and that just like shows you like the difference that the two different brushes can do so yeah beauty guru over here Nicola is telling you all the facts well not facts because I don't actually know if that's true but my facts and then this one also spreads out your eyelashes a wee bit in case like some of them clump together when you were doing like the first round this is like this brush like spreads out a wee bit which is good because we don't want big clumpy eyelashes because that's not a fun time okay so my last step is I'm just going to go in with the sexy mother pucker by soap and glory and um, got this for Christmas last year as well and this is in the I was about to say in the flavor this is in the shade super peach and you know I'm just gonna apply this as just basically a lip gloss now I'm gonna say a tip with this if you're planning wearing this out okay that's fine you do that you wear it out but my tip to you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is do not wear this out if you're walking somewhere and it's windy and you have long hair. Because as simple as this, with any lip gloss, this is how it goes. Your hair will get stuck in the lip gloss and that is not fun. Because not only will you have sticky hair, well who the hell wants hair in their lip gloss? Like, I don't know if you even, is this a lip gloss? I don't know, but I don't wear lip gloss, but I wear this because I like it, so... There we have it! That is my makeup look. That is my full face. Not really, it would be glam. It's glowy glam. Fun time. Now you could always put the Dew Fix spray again if you really wanted to. But I just, I like how it is right now. I look, do look dewy. I look glowy. Which was my aim. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and follow my social medias. They were at the start of the video and my Instagram is always linked down below. Um, but other than that, th yeah, remember if you want to see um, a Christmas wish list of 2018, comment below and let me know and I will get that filmed and upload it for you very soon. 
But other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all for great internet resorts in this. I love you. Peace out. I know myself so much it's not even funny.